Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, I got a very interesting topic for you guys. Just like you can see in the title of the video, it's the biggest disappointments of the Arnold Classic 2024. And let's just cut to the chase and start with the first one, and it is definitely this guy right here, Horse MD, Marcel D'Angelis. A lot of people had this guy in their top 5, some even had him in their top 3. And I was definitely one of them, I had him in fourth. I definitely made a big mistake, I fell for the hype, I believed the Instagram photos. In his Instagram photos he looked like he was gonna be in tremendous shape, he looked better than most of the guys doing the Arnold Classic. And here's the thing, last time he competed he also looked amazing in his photos on Instagram. A lot of people doubted him, they thought he's just an Instagram bodybuilder, and then when he showed up on stage, he actually looked very comparable to Samson Dauda, he beat Nathan Diasha, so he proved himself, and therefore we fell for his Instagram photos this time around. It was like two days out when they posted this photo and some others, and when I saw this, I actually thought, maybe he's not gonna be in shape, because here he doesn't look very good. I never made a video about it, I never said it publicly, but that's what I thought, I swear to you. And eventually turned out to be the case. Uh, Horse MD Marcelo D'Angelis really didn't bring the conditioning to the stage. He was really smooth, and you know, size-wise, he was okay, but I guess if he was in really good condition, he would just look better and bigger. I think the conditioning was the biggest issue. Also, like, compared to the top guys, to all the top guys, there are certain flaws that are very visible that you can't really hide here. For example, his waist seems pretty wide. You know, his back is just definitely underdeveloped. I'm gonna show you his back double bicep in a moment. He didn't want to do it in his posing routine. Of course, of course, why would he show it if it doesn't look good? Uh, I think this pose looked much better on Instagram than it does here. Here it's nothing special, on Instagram it looked like the best twisted back shot of all time, you know? Also, I think this guy needs more muscle in the upper body especially, he needs to bring up a couple of body parts to be a really a contender against the big boys, he still needs to make more improvements, I think he will, there is a lot of potential here, but as for right now, he wasn't ready for this, this was a little bit too big of a bite for him, but I don't think he's gonna place last, I think he's most likely gonna beat two guys. Justin Rodriguez and maybe even Mohamed Shaban. He wins some poses, they beat him in some poses as well, but overall, the overall impression that I got is that he's beating uh, both of them most likely, uh, because he's in the center of the callout right here, and Akim went to the next callout, the second one, so yeah, I think uh, Horse MD is at the top of this callout. The other thing that I was so disappointed about was his back. In his Instagram photos, it seemed like he improved that back, but actually... Check it out, he definitely didn't improve it, and also not being in great shape, it looked worse than Romania Pro. So I hope this guy is gonna take his time to improve this physique and to bring good conditioning the next time he competes, but next time he competes, my expectations will definitely be lower. Now, as far as the other three guys in this callout, they were all, you know, kind of disappointing because they were in the last callout, obviously, but most of us didn't have as high expectations of them as we had of Horse MD. Mohamed Shaban trained with Chris Cycle Lewis and we thought he's gonna be next level, you know, bigger, more conditioned and so on, and, you know, he just looks pretty much his usual self. Akeem Williams also looked crazy in that last Instagram photo, but it's only a side chest shot, he does look very good in the side poses, but... You know, his back, his back probably looks worse than ever. It completely atrophied for some reason, especially in the back double. But we all kind of expected him to be weak in the back poses. As far as the side chest and the side tricep, he was very good. And even in the front poses, he actually looked pretty decent. Justin Rodriguez, I wouldn't say he's a disappointment because he always looks so much better on his IG photos and we kind of know what to expect from him. He's washed up, he is definitely ready to retire. He has been ready for quite some time. Uh, it's over, it's definitely over for Justin, there is no coming back from this. You guys be my guest and tell me what do you think happened to Justin. I think he used too much Sintel and there is necrosis happening in so many body parts of his body and he can't get that muscle back. Arms are losing a lot of size, back as well, his legs are definitely looking weird and his midsection grew a lot. So I think his best days are behind him, I think he's ready to retire and let the new guys, the new kids, uh, do their thing. Next up, we got uh, James Hollinshead. Now, I'm not saying this guy is a big disappointment, no, 
but personally I expected him to bring something really good based on his last physique updates, those videos when he trained with Branch Warren, he looked really impressive, he looked really freaking massive, really full and also in good condition, so I thought he was gonna bring something pretty good, I thought he might be a top 3 guy, I thought he was gonna be at least bigger than most of these guys on the stage, but it definitely wasn't the case, I think it's pretty safe to say that Rafael Brandao looked bigger. Or is he just out angling him? I don't know, it's weird, I didn't expect Rafael to be this big, but yeah, he's actually bigger, he looks bigger than James Hollingshead. And I think Anton Wyant also very very close to James, Akim is probably even bigger, John De La Rosa is a shorter guy, but he's also packing a lot of muscle, so yeah, I kind of thought James is gonna stand out in this lineup with his size, with his mass, I thought he was that big, but yeah, I guess I was wrong, and a lot of us were too. He talked about winning this show and it seemed like he was really driven, really focused and he had Milos Sharchev in his corner, but I don't feel like he listened to Milos a lot. I think he would be better if he listened to Milos more than he listened to himself or his wife or his friend and his business partner Jordan Peters. I think he needs to become more coachable, I think he did best when he worked with Patrick Tour and Patrick Tour is like my way or the highway, so James listened to him, you know, fully and he did the best, honestly, they missed the peak at the Mr. Olympia, but everything else, he looked really good. Now he's trying to do this by himself, he listens to multiple people, and you know, I guess he looked okay, but I think he could have been better, I think he could have been more conditioned, and even if he lost some fullness, I think it would work in his favor, but let's see what he can do for the Arnold Classic UK, do you guys think he can improve a lot? Alright, next big disappointment is definitely Urs Kalicinski, I have no idea what happened to this guy, it was literally yesterday, I listened to him on a podcast and he was saying how he wants to beat Ramon at this show and then he wants to beat Chris Bumstead at the Mr. Olympia, but right now he fell short, he fell behind even Wesley Wissers, so now he has three guys he needs to beat if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, is that gonna happen? Well, it's not impossible, but he definitely needs to make a lot of improvements, however, he's only 2 pounds shy of the weight limit in classic physique, so I don't know how can he make improvements, and at this show, it wasn't that he wasn't big enough or anything like that, I think he was just simply flat, 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 as flat as a pancake, I don't know how was he this flat, what the hell did he do? Let's take another look at his physique, uh, once again I have no idea what could have went this wrong, how can somebody look this flat, maybe he spilled over and then he tried to lose the water really quickly and you know it all got messed up, I have no idea, hopefully he will explain to us, but like he lost all the size in his arms, he lost all the pop from every single body part in his physique, his legs that he's actually known for didn't have that size, did not have that fullness and pop, and quite frankly you could make a case that Brian Ainsley looked better, you know maybe this third place was a gift here, I really thought it was gonna be between Ramon Dino and Urs, and I thought maybe this time around Urs can surpass Dino and win the Arnold Classic, because I'm a fan of Urs Kolecinski, but no, no it didn't happen, uh, he wasn't even a second, you know, he barely even got that third place, because once again he was definitely very very flat. And now for the end we have Samson Dauda, now I'm not disappointed in Samson Dauda, in his physique, I still believe he can win this, I still think there is a chance of him beating Hari Chopin, what I am disappointed at is Samson's conditioning, especially in the glutes, that was a big talk for the past I don't know how many months, everybody knows, if Samson brings conditioning, with his size, with his symmetry, with his proportions, with his shape, with his crazy looking muscle belly, small joints and all that, if he brings conditioning, he beats everybody, he wins Mr. Olympia, but this is what we got right here at this show, same glutes as ever, not much improved conditioning. I think this fact could hurt him in the judging, because the judges award improvements, I think Hari improved from the Mr. Olympia and Samson 
he didn't that much. I think he's drier than Mr. Olympia, it is better conditioning, I will give him that much, but did he bring that crazy level of conditioning like Hardy, for example, or close at least? No, 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 and I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. So like I said, even though Samson disappointed me because of conditioning, I am not saying that he necessarily lost this show. Like I said in my previous video, it is very close. If this was judged as any other regular show, Hardy would probably have the advantage because he has conditioning. But bodybuilding is not all about conditioning. Both of these guys have a lot of muscle. Samson is obviously much bigger, but that's because he's taller. Proportionally, they are pretty much equal in size. In terms of development completeness, you could say that Hardy has a little bit better back, but not that much. They're pretty comparable. So size-wise, you can say they're pretty equal. Now, as far as proportions and shape and stuff like that, symmetry, that's definitely Samson all day long. Hadi also has that big asymmetry in his legs. His right leg is definitely much smaller than the left one. So, you know, aesthetics, shape, and that stuff, that all goes to Samson. What Hadi has is conditioning. Pretty crazy conditioning. Crazy hardness and fullness. And definitely has a better abdominal control. You know, midsection is definitely looking tighter. And look at the vacuum. You know, look at the abs. And no bubble gut. Samson has a little bit of a gut. So once again, if we say size is comparable, Hadi has a smaller leg, Samson has a bit of a gut, in the end, it's about what the judges choose, shape or conditioning, and that's it. And once again, guys, I'm a fan of Samson, I like the way his physique flows, I like the shape of it, I really wanted to see him in condition, and that's why I'm kinda disappointed. And please don't tell me that I need to be objective because I'm a journalist or whatever. I'm not a journalist. If you want straight news, you have Nick Strength and Power. I actually have opinions and I'm gonna share them here. If you don't like them, dislike the video, tell me you don't like it, whatever, I don't care. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.